Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here at the Piscataqua River in Manchester. I guess I don't know if it's downtown or not, but um, close to downtown. Uh, been down here before, didn't catch anything, but we're gonna see what we can do today. Um, not exactly sure how to get down to the river. I think I can go through here. Um, I don't know, see if we can catch yeah, we'll see if we can uh, hook up on some largies. Uh, I don't know what else is in here. I'm assuming pickerel. Uh, there might be smallies in here, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not confident enough to say that. But uh, so we'll come around here and try to get down to the water and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna slap the GoPro on, and here we go. All right, I made it down to the water. Um, it looks pretty good. Water looks fairly clear, surprisingly. Um, I'm gonna start off probably throwing top water, my walking bait, and go from there. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens down here. Uh, starting off with this guy. Just, uh, I'm not exactly sure who makes this. I've caught a few fish on it. Replace the treble hooks. Um, just a walking bait, top water. So let's give it a shot. See what happens. There are fish in here. Probably a little bluegill or something. Alright, I'm throwing on the uh, four inch yum dinger, green pumpkin. Oh, that shaky head. That might produce something. Let's give it a shot without falling off into the water. Some dead grass down there. That's good to know. This time of year, the uh, the fish are looking for uh, oxygen, oxygen and food. So dead grass is not good. But we up up the way here is waterfall, some sort of dam, which is aerating all of this and pushing any, any bait fish or anything, all that food is gonna come, over, come over that that dam and funnel down through here. And hopefully load up some fish. Something's pecking at it. So fishing a river versus fishing a pond or a lake in the fall, a lot different. Uh, I hope you could see that, but I've got something down there just flashing. I think it's on my line to flash it on. Just a little bluegill or something. But so fishing in the in the fall in a river in New England it's got to be for me 
the toughest fishing there is. I mean, like one step above fishing New England in August, which is absolutely in, in a lake or a pond. Is that something? No. Dragon on the bottom. But, especially this is like a new body of water for me. So I'm trying to throw different techniques that I know work in lakes and ponds because I don't fish a whole lot of rivers. Um, so I have like my confidence baits on. I'm trying to get anything. Let's see if we can find another spot around here. I hope my jacket's not swishing and swashing too much. Oh, this looks relatively good. What do we got here? Might have to take my socks off. Just wait a little bit. Oh yeah, there's gotta be fish in here. Alright, let's do this. Socks off, just in case my this water can be freezing cold if I get into it. But I have dry socks afterwards. So, but this looks great. There's got to be fish in here somewhere. I'll try my best not to get my feet wet, but prepared if I do. All right. Just got my toes a little wet. That's it. But this. This has to hold the fish. Start with the swim bait. And I'm casting into the wind. I know there's a crosswind. But let's just see. Dead hydrilla. A lot of dead grass in here. That's not a really good sign. What? Try on here. This is all like kind of a little cove. Might be something in here. This looks like it would hold smallmouth. Nice cold water running right after a, a dam. All right, I'm trying something a little smaller here. Because I don't think 
might be too big of a presentation. I'm gonna throw on a two aught hook, unweighted, and if I have any more left, a smaller Kitek. I feel like that'll get a bite. It's kind of my go-to, but I think a two aught. There's smaller fish in here. I should be able to at least catch them if they swing at it. Yeah, I've got a looks like a three and a half inch. Uh, this is a Bass Pro Shop. It's bluegill or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. But you can see that. So that's one of the tricks I do with uh, just a swim bait, is going a little bit on the top. And then come down. If you're using the XY gap, you then that sits pretty flush. Like that. So it's a little weedless. Just with these with the, with the groove. And then they bite down and you got it. didn't catch anything but still a fun day out exploring a little bit uh, maybe next time didn't break off didn't lose anything so it's still a good day well right get my uh, rods in the water some wine in the water so I'm not complaining time to head back